In this lesson, we're going to take another look at the serial monitor. Uh, we glanced at it earlier, but there's definitely more to learn and um, continue to reinforce that it's a really great tool for figuring out what's going on with a, a, a sketch that's not working perfectly. It uploads, but there's something messed up about it and you're not sure what. All right, I have the blank sketch out again. Uh, I took out all the comments so you could see it a little better, but what we're going to do now is just quickly review how to use the serial monitor to detect bugs in your Arduino sketch. Let's pretend that you successfully upload it, which means there are no syntactical errors. However, it's not working. Something's wrong. Um, and the best way to know what's going on inside is to have it send messages out of the Arduino. So um, let's pretend our blink sketch is what's going wrong. Let's um, let's add serial begin. Some people use a higher baud rate. I I've never seen any advantage to doing that, but you know maybe you'll find one. Um, and then uh, we're going to put in a um, a little message serial parent line and let's say LED on oops and it's a string it's not data so we have to put it in quotes Okay, so let's upload. Okay, now let's see what's going on in serial monitor. Oh, so every second it, um, well, it turns on the LED for one second and then turns it off. Um, and at the beginning of that cycle, it turns, it, set, it prints LED on um, in the, um, in the serial monitor. So it's, it's every, every two seconds. All right, so let's have it say LED off. Okay, that's pretty simple. I think you guys get the idea. Um, so uh, let's start talking about some other aspects of the serial monitor. Okay, let's talk about some of the features of the serial monitor. Um, first of all, uh, opening the serial monitor resets the program. It's the same as if you actually uh, press the reset button. Um, and that's not as noticeable for a very small and infinitely repeating um, LED flasher like the blink sketch, but realistically, if, if you have a very convoluted program, you have to understand that when you turn on the serial monitor, it is going to reset. Secondly, you have to be connected to an Arduino with an active serial connection to get anything out of the serial monitor. If it's you know, there, there has to connect to the Arduino. There has to be a sketch running on the Arduino. And the sketch has to have included the serial begin as well as serial um, print functions in order for you to get anything out of it. It's not like, you know, it doesn't have any abilities to find out information other than what it is sent by the Arduino. And finally, you have to have the uh, match the the baud rate that's this right here that's how fast the information is um if you if you have it wrong then either it will be blank like this or it will be random um gibberish so so just make sure that you have the baud rate synced and that's the, one of the first things that you should check when working on a serial project is to just to double check that the baud rate is the same on both 
All right, I just want to go over a couple of techniques for formatting the, the text that you send to the serial monitor. Um, the first thing is there's two different ways of printing. There's print and print LN, which is print line. And as you saw from um, the serial monitor, when you do a print line, each set of data, each print, um, gets its own line. But what if you were to change it to just print? Let's check it out. See that it's all on one one string, and it will just keep going and scrolling around. Um, and it doesn't look that great to me. I I personally don't like doing it this way. And there are some techniques you can use to uh, format it a little bit. For instance, you could just add a space. And I'll make it a little bit more readable. But in the end, um, I still think it looks better with each set of each um, statement that's printed is on its own line. The other thing I want to mention is how to print variables. Um, basically, it works the same way, except instead of using quotes, you just type it in. So since we only have one variable LED here, um, we do serial.print. Let's do a print line just to have it on its own line. Um, and then the variable name in parentheses and a semicolon. Let's see how it looks. OK. It's, um, it is the LED on. And then we have the variable LED, which, as we know, is 13, printed immediately after LED on. So that's how you print a variable. I just want to quickly talk about how to send data to the Arduino using the serial monitor. It basically works the same way. Um, um, let's, uh, let's find an example. Go to File Examples Communication Dimmer. Let's close up Blink. Don't save. All right. Um, let's go over the code really quickly. Uh, basically, there's an LED plugged into pin 9. Um, and um, there's, uh, remember when I talked about variables, how there's a variable called a byte. And, and that's what this is, brightness. It's a number between 0 and 255. Um, and it gets the brightness by reading what's going on um, over serial. So it reads serial read and whatever the result is becomes this byte brightness and then it writes to the LED pin and um, it PWMs it to whatever the brightness reading is so let's um, let's upload this and then see what's going on in the serial monitor Okay, so see how it has this window here um, with send? That is to send stuff to the Arduino. So I'm going to let's give it 200. All right, well, you can't see this, but take my word for it. It just dimmed down to 200. So that's, that's how, you, uh, how you write to um, how you control your Arduino sketch over the USB cable by using this serial read and also you can see um, th that you have to you have to do this whole thing right here if you reuse this code for your your sketches um, make sure you have this if serial available it's basically just double checking that there is an active serial connection before it it proceeds with the program so that's it for series three in series four I'm going to talk exclusively about motors and how to power them and control them. See you then and thanks for watching.